Hey everyone, it's Mary Louise here from East Coast Stamping with Mary Louise, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Aylesford, Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, today I am going to create a little uh, YouTube tutorial based on a sketch that I recently, um, um, sketch challenge that I participated in um, every Tuesday night on my Facebook page, East Coast Stamping with Mary Louise. I do a sketch challenge. So uh, another Stamping Up demonstrator friend randomly chooses a sketch for me to complete and I do my thing. And sometimes people help me and sometimes I'm able to do it all on my own. <laughs> so uh, I really, really enjoyed the sketch that I did yesterday. So if you want to see it, it's on my blog. East Coast Stamping with Mary Louise, and it's on my Facebook page as well. So I'm putting a little different spin on it today, and um, I can show you the sketch. I'll bring it up here quickly on my on my iPad. Well, there there's the the one I made last night, and there's the sketch. Again, it's just a random uh, internet search. So let's get started. So today I'm, I'm using different products of course with a little different spin on it and I'm going to use the Places in the Heart stamp set. I just bought this since the catalog's gone live and I absolutely love it and this is going to be the first time that I'm using it. So I'm going to use this mom and baby here and a couple of the sentiments and then these speckles whatever you want to call them. I'm not great with the technical terms. And I'm also going to use some of the Lovely and Linen Designer Series paper. So this is the color that I chose, the piece that I chose. And we're putting it on a soft succulent card base. So I'm trying to stay with some fairly neutral colors that aren't, you know, dominantly pink or blue or whatever just because you know some people like the traditional yellows and greens some people really still like to go for the blues and pinks and you just never know how to please everybody so I'm just going to go with soft succulent which is a beautiful color I'm not a green person but I really am enjoying this one and the evening evergreen especially when they're together and so it's just a um, regular A2 size card and then a four by five and a quarter mat. So I'm going to adhere that down using my stamp and seal. Isn't this pretty too? Oh, stuck. So Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent are both coordinating colors with the Lovely in Linen Designer Series paper. Uh, Night of Navy is in there, Pale Papaya, and uh, let's see, Sweet Sorbet. So there's all kinds of pretty, pretty offerings for this. I chose, um, I chose the, this color background more, and this, package actually of DSP based on because this one has ribbon and I, I I don't use a lot of ribbon but I do have the open weave pale papaya ribbon and I really I needed to do it for that <laughs> so you do what you got to do right so then I have a piece of three and a quarter by four white and I'm going to stamp my image on it using memento ink because then I'm going to color it with the blends Make sure we get a nice image. Oh, that's nice. All right, so while I have the ink out, let's put our sentiment on. Um, so happy for you. Now let's make sure we get this nice and straight. 
Yeah, we'll go with that. And then I have a piece of the same size, three and a quarter by four, <clears throat> excuse me, for my insert. And I'm going to stamp, since I have the ink right out, when a child is born, so is a mother. And that one is on there, very crooked. Um, no. Whew, dodge that bullet. And since we're almost finished, let's put our strip of DSP on. And then we can call it done. Well, I haven't... I haven't been invited to a lot of baby showers lately or or know of a lot of people that have had babies lately. So I'm kind of hoping that now that I have this beautiful card all almost finished that I'll be able to have somebody to give it to. All right, so let's get coloring. So let's see. I am going to use a light old olive and a dark old olive. So I'm going to use the pencil end just to kind of do the outline of this baby's sleeper, romper, whatever you choose to call it. And then I will shade it in using the light, but the, um, like the paintbrush end. Okay, there's, I like to, um, I really like to have music playing when I am, um, when I am doing my crafting, but I have to be careful of what I play because unless I have permission, Facebook shuts down my video. And mutes my mutes my video, so it just sometimes you know helps to take care of those awkward silence silences. So now I'm just kind of coloring in skin tones, and I've used the ivory on both the baby and the mama. And let's see, we'll do some crumb cake for mom's hair. Oh, and I can see that my, my phone is going to jiggle. Mom's got her hair in one of those messy bun things. And what were some of the other colors? Sweet sorbet. Hmm. Well, I don't have any sweet sorbet, so let's do... Let's do so saffron. Because it's so close? No, not at all. But it is a nice light color. And 
Do you guys like talk to your cards, especially if there's images as you're creating them? I don't know if I've told you this before, but my mom used to make stuffed bunnies and stuff like that back in the 80s and 90s when those were all a big thing. And when she got to making the faces, like she would embroider the faces or she would sew buttons on the faces and that kind of thing. And she would talk to them as she was creating the faces, almost giving them like a little bit of a, of a personality. And then when she finished doing the stuffed era she started making ceramic dolls so she has like some uh huckleberry thin and and green gables and those ones and when she would make those she has, she has a little one a little doll i remember she made it just after my niece was born and um when she would make the faces for her ceramic dolls she would talk them talk to them as well and it was kind of cool because she said it was like giving them their personality. And you would hear her at the sewing machine or at the table when she was um, creating. You could hear her talking to them and knowing full well that she was all alone. But she was talking to her. Talking to her um, creations. All right, so I did pull out, what was the other one I pulled out? The dark crumb cake and let's see, ivory, and then light crumb cake. This was the dark crumb cake I did for the baby's hair. So they're, they're just kind of muted colors. They're not really vibrant and, okay. Let's see, I can, um, so I've got a bit of a smudge on there. Oh, I know what I was going to do. All right. No. So the stamp set also has, remember I mentioned these spots. So let's use Let's use the saffron. Oh, I have soft succulent. I believe There's that craft -a lanch that my friend talks about. I do have soft succulent. My friend uh, Andrea at Prairie Sky Crafters talks about craft -a lanches and all these other wild and wonderful um, crafting terms. So I just had a bit of a craft -a lanch. So we'll just do a little bit of a border. I put new batteries in all my clocks last night and they're just about, hmm, almost time for me to pull them out because they aren't ticking in unison. Well, let's put a couple on the inside of this too, just because. Just do down one side. Sorry. Okay, let's close that up because I'm not going to tempt fate with that. that. Should be good. All right, so now we're going to get out the pale papaya ribbon and just need a little bit longer than the four inches. Get a little bit of stamp and seal on here. And then 
I just tuck it in. Like so. Add a little bit more stamp and seal. And line this up. And I am going to put another little glue dot underneath that ribbon just because it um it's a little bit of a distance there let me grab my take a pick tool and then i just there all right now we're almost there now i'm going to add some brushed brass butterflies so that's quite a little tongue twister I'd like to see you do that one like <clears throat> five times fast so again i've grabbed my take a pick tool and i have another little blemish there that i'm going to cover up see you can cover up boo-boos and then That one there. So there's different sizes of these butterflies, which I absolutely love. And you know what? Let's stick one right over top of the glue dot. Okay, I seem to be a little awkward today with this Take Your Pick tool. I'm not quite sure why. There. There we go. I think this is awesome. I love this little card. I love the mama. What do you think? So if you're new to my YouTube channel, I'd love to see you subscribe and then you'll get a little notification there. The little bell will ding and um, it'll show you, <coughs> excuse me, show you when I've had a new video, um, a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whether you liked my video and love to have any comments. So Again, thank you from sunny Aylesford, Nova Scotia. And, you know, if you're in Canada and looking for a demonstrator, I would love to take that job on. Have a great day and come back and visit real soon. Bye-bye.